What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to get back to the KX250F build. And I've got the engine ready to go back in the frame there now. I'm just going to pop the head cover off there, or the valve cover I should say. And I'm going to put a little bit of uh, bubble wrap over it so that I don't uh, ding anything up while I'm putting it back in the frame. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that off quick and put some bubble wrap on it. Alright guys, so I thought I had some bubble wrap around but I guess I don't. So I'm going to use this uh, uh, cloth here. And as well, I put some uh, cloths down in the frame just to kind of prevent uh, scratching as I put the engine in there. So I'm going to go ahead and try and put the engine in now and hopefully um, it'll go in nice and smooth for me. There it is guys, I got the engine in here with uh, minimal dinging. Actually, I don't think I got any scratches on the powder coat, so that's awesome. I got all the hangers in. Uh, I'm gonna leave everything loose for now because I'm gonna go ahead and move to the back of the bike and I'm gonna start putting the swing arm on. So I got the swing arm all ready here. It's all vapor blasted, ready to go on. I put the chain slider, chain guide on. All the push bolts are on there, so all I gotta do is uh, put that axle into here and I got the engine loose so that uh, it's easy to slide through, so that should go on no problem. So that went on pretty easy there guys. I had to lift the back of the engine up a little bit to get the bolt through, but other than that it went in pretty smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and pack the bearings with grease for the clamps there at the front and just go ahead and get them on the bike. And then after that uh, I'm probably going to do a couple little things. I'm going to put the, the CDI box holder on and then uh, probably start routing the electrical after that because that'll be the next thing to go on.
I've got the wiring kind of loosely in here now, guys. I'm gonna have to go through pictures and stuff like that. I'm gonna have to do this all off camera because I don't know exactly where this goes. So I'm gonna have to go through old photos and probably old video uh, just to get an idea like where these uh, like these grounds and stuff like that go. So I'm gonna try and put that in as neatly as possible and then I'll show you guys what I got done after. All right, guys, I got the electrical on for the most part here. Uh, this is the main area I was trying to uh, take care of. There's a couple of just loose cable stays for now just to uh, make sure I got everything in there that I need in there so I can uh, go back and pull it off if I need to and route something else through there. Um, there's another one that goes here, but that's for the throttle cables. And down here, this bottom of this harness, this is all for the um, throttle body and there's uh, sensors and injectors in the air box. So those will have to go on later. So. I'm about as far as I can make it now with the electrical, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the throttle body and I'm going to install that. One thing I will add here guys is this capacitor right here. That's got the green plug there. It's going to go right here. But I'm not going to be able to put it on right away because uh, it has to go onto the rad on the bottom of the rad like that. So now that I got the throttle body installed, I'm gonna go ahead and put the throttle cable on. So the routing's pretty easy on this. Some bikes crisscross the throttle cables with the clutch cable, but this one doesn't. So it'll just come off the bars down through here, underneath here, and down to the throttle body. And I'm going to be installing a set of Motion Pro cables. Alright guys, so now that I got these cables routed here for the throttle, I'm going to mount the bars quickly and uh, try that uh, throttle tube out, install that and uh, check for operation for the throttle body. Also I just went ahead and put the clutch cable on quickly uh, because this doesn't uh, get kind of woven through all this, it just simply like goes out here and it goes up in front of the rad and there's a couple of clamps that keep it on and then it goes out to your perch and then you can just install the lever from there. Okay guys, so I got the throttle put on here. Everything's working just fine. Snapping back, nice and easy. Uh, probably could adjust the free play a little bit, but other than that, everything's working just great. So, uh, bring you around to the throttle body here. You can see in there. Everything's operating perfectly. So with all that done, I'm gonna move over to the other side and I'm gonna start installing the clutch perch and the cable. Alright guys, so I got the cable, the perch, the clutch lever on, so the pull feels awesome on it. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and start putting the rads on and putting the hoses on after, because it's basically all I have left to put on this bike for now. There's a lot more parts I need to clean, but the bike's coming out awesome. It's looking good so far.
All right guys, so I got the rads and the rad hoses on, all the clamps are tight. That's pretty much all I got for this video because I'm pretty much out of parts to put on the bike. I gotta order some, clean some. Next video, I'm probably gonna be rebuilding the rear shock. It's a little bit different than what you typically find as far as uh, charging the nitrogen chamber. So if you guys wanna see that, I'm probably gonna make a video about it. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell, then you'll get the notification that the video's out. And as always guys, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one.